What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're rocking out with a Gen 4 box art legendary. We got ourselves Origin Form Palkia today. Now, Origin Form Palkia or Palkia in general, I haven't used in a hot minute. And I absolutely love this Pokemon due to its design and its typing of Water Dragon. This Palkia build that we're rocking with today has the Water Tower type with Telepathy as its ability. It has its signature item, the Lustrous Globe, and then it has Spatial Mind, Hydro Pump, Trick Room, and Protect. Probably the best move set for any Palkia. But not only are we using Palkia, we're going to be pairing it up with Salazzle today. Salazzle learns Dragon Cheer, we can send it over Palkia's way, boost its critical hit ratio, and then just keep going off with Spatial Mind. Salazzle also has Flamethrower and Sludge Wave for two stab moves, Fake Out, which is a top tier move that doubles, and then last but not least, it's got that lovely little Focus Sash as item. Our final four Pokemon on today's team are kind of meta-ish, except for one. We got Rollaboom, Incineroar, King Gambit, and then we have Thunderous in Stereum form. With Volt Absorb and a Choice Scarf, it can outspeed most doing some damage or slowing down Pokemon with Electro Web. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop to our first match showcasing Origin Palkia and Salazza. Going up against Terrapagos in match number one, and we all know the power of Terrapagos after it boosts itself with Calm Mind. So if I could pull off a Dragon Cheer with Salazzle, this could actually be really good for us. They also have Fluttermane, they got Earthfruit, they got Amoongus, and then Chiyu and Grimstrong, who can set up screen. So we might just want to go into Salazzle and Palkia. It seems like they have two ways to just bulk it up. Screens and, and Terrapagos just go in Calm Mind. So if I can get that crit boost onto Palkia, that could be massive. So I'm going to go into both of them. In the back end, Incineroar could be solid. Do we need Terrain Control? Not really, so I really don't want Incineroar. Unless that's Water Urshifu, but I kind of think it's Dark Urshifu. What I'd rather have here. Could go Roll Boom. King Gambit's not bad. Um, Could go in with a Choice Scarf here, which isn't bad as well. Hmm. What's your special attacking at? Is it rather high? 216, that is high. You know, we're going to go in with you and King Gambit. Do I like that? Yeah, I can get down with that. I can get down with that. So that's that's who we're going to rock out with. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one with Palkia, most important. Again, I, I want to try to just like drag and cheer it up. Maybe pop a trick room if needed, but I feel like if we can just drag and cheer, we can really just start getting after it that way, right? Drag and cheer with Spatial Mind, who, which already has a crit boost in it. I think it's 100% crit, and then just starts wiping out Pokemon left and right. So if you want to set up a light screen turn one, be my guest. You want to set up a Calm Mind? Be my guest. I'm just start throwing crits left and right. All right, let's see what they end up doing. I could pop a Trick Room, too. If they go into Speedy Pokemon, I could end up faking out and then pop a Trick Room. Really depends who they're going to lead here. But I think Grimstrong or Terrapagos have to be lead here, correct? Is that a correct statement here? We're going to see Fluttermane Grimstrong. So Fluttermane and Grimstrong come out here. Um, I think it's safe play for us to just Dragon Cheer, maybe Hydro Pump. And look how big Palkia is. He's just a bulky Pokemon. He's just a big boy. Plays no games. It plays no games. Not a singular game. So I'm thinking here we honestly just go in the Dragon Cheer. And we might just want to Thrasalize and go for Hydro Pump and look to just rip into this Fluttermane. Yeah, I'm down with it. I'm going to get rid of my Dragon type and not really liking it next to Spirit Break Pokemon, right? Not really liking it. Spirit Break and obviously Dazzling Moon Blast. We're not liking it. So I'm going to rip a Hydro Pump. We're going to go into a Dragon Cheer. Um, I don't know what he's gonna do here. I'm hoping he just sets up a screen, right? Just a normal Grimstrong thing. Just set up a light screen. That's kind of what I'm hoping. That's kind of what I'm hoping. You can just set up screens as we crit moves here. So we go into a lovely little water type. Dude, Palkia is massive. I love seeing like Palkia and Dialga in this game just because they're so big. It's just so funny seeing them next to other Pokemon. And Fluttermane's just gonna protect here. The little protect action comes out here. No big deal. Actually, we lost our dragon typing. Might have been a stupid play for us. Might have been a stupid play for us. But we go for a Dragon Cheer, which I can just go for another one now, so it's not that big of a deal. It is really not that big of a deal. I do like this water typing, but I always forget that <clears throat> that you have to use Dragon Cheer on Dragon Pokemon to boost it even more. It looks like we have to boost it again, right? Correct? Is that a correct statement? Actually, I don't even think we can use it again. But from here, I'm just going to go for a Sludge Wave because it won't hit my... Uh, it won't hit my Palkia due to telepathy. And who could they swap into here? Amoongus, if you have it? I'm still going to launch a Hydro Pump into the Flutter main slot. I think it's just a fine play for me. 
I think it's a fine play. So we're crit boosted here. I don't think it's going to crit, but Spatial Wrench should be critting most of the time. Not Hydro Pump, though. But we can hope. We got that crit boost. We got that crit boost ready to roll. And we're going to see a Terra type pop out from Fluttermane, it seems like. The Fluttermane's going to get that Fairy Terra? I believe so. Straight Fairy. So Sludge Wave is going to be super effective onto that. Um, we have Focus Sash on Slazzle. How much damage could you really be doing to this Palkia? Could be a big chunk. Moonblast, yeah, dude, that's looking scary. Yo, Moonblast, chill. Chill. A lot of damage. A lot of damage. And you get a special attack drop. So we definitely need this crit here. Sludge Wave going to fly. Telepathy is going to help dodge. And we do some beautiful damage across the board. Hydro Pump does connect. This should KO. Crit or no crit. This should KO the fun, man. Yep, get it on out my face. Was it crit, though? It was not. It was not. Okay, so what I really want to do here is at least get off one more turn with Palkia. I don't want to see what he goes into. Oh, he's doubling down to Palkia. I want to get off one more turn with Palkia. And he gets a special attack drop. Wow. I mean, that's a guaranteed special attack drop, but I'm just saying wow in general because now I'm sitting here minus two. But she is going to fly out here. Um, What is my play? They don't have Terra. We could potentially like hard swap Salazzle and protect Palkia and maybe bring out like Thunderous. And maybe E Web Drop. I like that. I like that the most. But that's a fast Pokemon. I can just E Web slow down and then potentially just get off the Space Run onto the Chiyu. Or even a Hydro Pump in the Grim Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So let's protect Palkia. If I had to guess, it's probably like Heat Wave and then maybe attacking the other slot. Or he might just be like setting up something here. Might be setting up another screen like a reflect, which could be a smart move. I'm just gonna protect the Palkia, yeah, put up the shield. My special attack is so low right now. And he's gonna go for a Thunder Wave, which is not gonna affect me. I get the Bolt Absorb that. Bolt Absorb, and he's gonna go for a Snarl. So you're gonna get a special attack up, which eh, actually kinda sucks. Really sucks, but I'm really here for speed. So I'm just gonna go for an E Web, and I'm gonna double down into this, uh, this, what's it called? I'm going to double down into this Chiyu with a Spatial Ren flying that way. So hopefully he doesn't protect the Chiyu. That would that would be, that'd be very bad for us. That'd be very bad. I could honestly, no, I couldn't have gone for a Trick Room. I need to just outspeed. So again, I really just want one more turn with Palkia, and I'm hoping I can do it here. You could Thunder Wave my Palkia, but I doubt you do that. I doubt you do that, seeing this thing's HP that low. I doubt you go for a Thunder Wave in a Palkia, and I'm going to be upset if you do. Because I'm trying to slow you down. E-Web's gonna fly, does minimal damage, but more importantly, we get that speed drop. Palkia, can you now outspeed and get off a spatial run here? You do, beautiful. So smart turns for us, can we get the crit? We do get the crit, we love it, we love it. We love it, and we get rid of the Chiyu. So that's massive for us, that's just huge for us. Now, I wonder if you KO Palkia. No, you're gonna go after my boy here, who survives on two, that's actually really big because I can speed drop again. And I can slow down everybody. So we still have Salazzle and we still have King Gambit in the back end. If I had to guess, Terrapagos is the last Pokemon, and it is. Um, I'm just going to slow down that and break its Terror Shell. It can't Terrasalize either, which is good news for us. Great news for us. And honestly, should I just go after Grimmsnarl here? Because you might just protect Terrapagos here. You might just protect Terrapagos. I think I might go after Grimmsnarl. Just in case he wants to protect Terrapagos, which is definitely an option. I'm going to go after Grimmsnarl. I think you might protect Terrapagos. I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read that you protect Terrapagos, especially after seeing what we can, what we just did last turn. I think you just have to put the shield up on Terrapagos and try to get rid of my Palkia. I think that just has to be your play. But if you don't protect Terrapagos, then we just get off an E-Web into it, which is pretty big for us. And there's the protect. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. All my members, let me get a little bit of Terrapagos action, or not Terrapagos action, uh, LeBron James emote. In the comment section down below. Come on, man. That reads too easy, even though I'm gonna miss this Hydro Pump. I don't. Awesome. Cool. Lovely. The game repays me for that read. And we just get to be able to dump on Grimstar. So now I can go for E Web again. And I can go for Space Roman into Terrap Ghost. But yeah, we made that read very easily. So yeah, same thing. E Web slow down. Space Roman across the board. And I believe they just cancel match at this point. We're just playing too well here. They don't have their Terrasalization anymore. They have no double hitting moves. I still have Solazzo on the back end. I still have King Gambit. And this would be a sweep if they cancel the match or if we just one shot this trap. It goes here. Which I'm really hoping. 
But yeah, that was just a good place for us to just swap to Slazzle, try to get off at least one more turn with our Palkia, and one more turn just snowballed into like five more turns, which is great. Which is great. So he lowers her goes to speed. My Palkia outspeeds. Give me the crit. We don't get the crit. See, if I was Dragon type when I used it, we would have been chilling. And this thing ends up going for a Calm Mind. That was dumb. That is stupid. That is stupid. Going for Calm Mind boost. You can't Terrasse Slash. You should have just killed my Palkia because chances are it's going to hit you here. It's going to do some big time damage with Spatial Ring. So I already outspeed. I could honestly just hard swap into Slazzle here. Just in case we need it, right? I mean, I'd rather have you, like, hitting with Discharge and your special attack back. I'm gonna hard swap into Slazzle, I'm just gonna go into another spatial run here. And hopefully this one's a crit, and it just takes it out, right? That's really what I'm hoping for. I can't believe you went for Calm Mind there. Calm Mind. You might even protect here. And if you protect here, then I could just fake you out next turn. They're staying in here. They don't want to get swept. They do not want to get swept. They said, swept, no thank you. Not happening. Spatial Man's gonna fly. Is this one gonna get the crit? We get the crit. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A sweep in match number one. Way to get things started with Origin Form Palkia. Moving on to match number two, and your boy is 1 0. We're going up against a pretty cool Kyogre team with Meow Scarada, Primarina, Psyduck, well, not Psyduck, Golduck, who has Swift Swim, I believe. And then they got Urshifu, and last but not least, Reggie Draco. So, how should I play this one? I think Rillaboom has to come in here. They have three water type Pokemon, so Grassy Glide is going to work wonders. Actually, maybe four water type Pokemon. We don't really know if that Urshifu is water type just yet, but definitely want Rillaboom in here. I definitely want our choice Scarf Boy, and I think I'm just gonna end up leading him. We could also go into Palkia here just because it resists water so nicely. And I think that's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna go Palkia. We're gonna go into uh, Thunderous here. And what's your Terror type here, Thunderous? It's gonna be Electric. Just okay. I mean, we gotta bring in Roll Boom. And last but not least, uh, probably King Gambit. King Gambit just works wonders, especially with Sucker Punch into Black Glasses. Dark Terror type. It just does so much damage. It just does so much damage. And especially if you need like first turn priority, Sucker Punch always comes up clutch. It really does. Especially as like a late game Pokemon. It's a one on one situation. They got a Pokemon that's outspeeding you. Maybe super effective. Just sucker punch it. KO it. Get rid of the match. Get the win. It's awesome. Alright, let's see who they end up leading here. I think Kyogre could come out here. Sida could also be the lead with it. And it is going to be Kyogre Sida. Now, I'm really hoping that um, that my uh, my boy outspeeds. That's what I'm hoping. My choice scarf. Thunderous. I could honestly just pop a discharge if I want to. But I think taking a little bit of speed control here and choicing into this might be in our better best interest. Palkia, your speed should be like mediocre, kind of like Kyogre's. Maybe a little bit higher. 140s? Wow, actually 170s. You cooking. This thing is flying. This thing is flying. We're just going to go into a spatial random. We're just going to double down into, uh, into Kyogre here. We're just doubling down into Kyogre. So they got Golduck. Like I said, Swift Swim. But I think that my Thunders could outspeed. We'll see a Terra type pop out here early on from Kyogre, which might be Grass. You never know. No, it's going to be straight water, so he's just looking for damage. So again, if I could pull off this E-Speed. Or not E-Speed, E-Web. He could be thriving here. And he's going to put me to sleep? This is how you're playing? Hypnosis Golduck. What a coward. What a coward. Unless you watch the Jeans videos. Then you're not a coward, but... Come on. That ain't right. He's going to be able to Wakan Berry up for his Golduck. We do get a lovely speed drop. And I think my Thunderous dies out here. I think my Thunders dies out here, which kind of sucks, man. So I would have been able to outspeed and maybe just KO this Kyogre. Would have been massive for us. Out comes the Water Spout. Come on, man. Not cool. Hypnosis. And yeah, I do die out. Luckily, Palkia four times resists water, but... Hypnosis? Just attack me. Just hit me. Just hit me. But now I can just go into uh, Robo. I mean, you're sitting here doing all that. Um... I might just attack the gold duck. I'm not I'm tired of going to sleep. You might protect the guy over here. I'm attacking the gold duck. I'm going straight into a grass guide into the gold duck slot. Grass guide and gold duck, and if we can pull up a spatial ren. I would love to pop a spatial ren. I would love to. So Kyogre, I think there's a chance of it protecting. Both these guys are minus one on speed. Um Golduck probably still outspeeds by Palkia. Let's be honest, but Palkia's outspeeding Kyogre now. And if Golduck just stays in here, it's dead. I love this Rillaboom here. Especially since they already water terrored. We don't have to we don't have to worry about any terror changes here, so. 
I love her real boo here. Nice lovely grassy glides. Popping in now. But they're thinking, they might swap it. They're really thinking of what to do. They're really thinking. I just want this gold that gone. I don't want to go to sleep anymore. It's not cool. We're gonna stay on the field with everybody. We're gonna grassy glide, get rid of gold duck. Say see you later. Are you going for another water spout or are you switching over to like ice beam? I'm not too sure. Can you wake up, Palkia? Nope. Two turns sleep. Maybe three turns. Usually for me, it's three turns. Ice Beam gonna fly here. We should soak this about half. Is that a crit? Yeah, of, co of course. Like, what? of course it's a crit. Of course it's a crit. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? Oh, man. That really hurts. Who you got in the back in here? A crit, really? And they're gonna send out this boy right here. So, honestly... I'm hoping we outspeed. I mean, we're going to go for Grass Guide here. Look for the KO. And I'm hoping I just wake up and I can spatial rend this uh, Reggie Draco. Because honestly, we might be faster than Reggie Draco at 170 speed. You're fast. 169 to be exact. But still, you're fast, Palkia. Grass Guide's going to fly here. It is going to pick up the KO. I'm surprised they haven't been just like protecting Palkia. Well, not Palkia. Kyogre. They've kind of just been letting it play. Which sometimes that works. It was honestly working for a little bit. I thought he was going to protect the turn before. Palkia finally wakes up, which is gorgeous. Can we just dump on this Reggie Draco? Spatial Ren? Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Let's set this up for victory. I'm not going to say it's in the bag, but it's, it's it's making its way to the bag, right? This match is making its way to the bag. We can see who their final Pokemon is. I can pretty much guarantee a Grassy Glide getting off onto it. So if it's Focus Ash Pokemon, we can just take it off. They don't have Terra either. And their final Pokemon is going to be Urshifu water which we love we go for grassy guide we go for a space rend and do they just cancel the match is gene sitting two and oh am i sitting two and oh show me i'm sitting two and oh come on man that's too easy grassy guy gotta fly that's big time damage bringing it down to yellow and space runs out speeding ggs to our opponent two and oh to get this video started Moving on to our final match for today's video. Looking to go 3-0, going up against Miraidon. And we know Miraidon is a scary Pokemon. I mean, it's got that terrain control, which means we got to bring in Rillaboom here to kind of help us out with that terrain problem. But something that I do notice is Grimmsnarl. And if they are going to leave Grimmsnarl, which I'm kind of hoping, we can just go back into Salazzle and Orange Form Palkia, just like we did in match number one. So that's exactly what I'm going to do with Rillaboom in the back end. And then last but not least... Who do I want here? Do I want King Gambit? Kind of. Or do I want Thunderous? It's kind of weird. We're not using Incineroar all day today. I feel like we've been going up against a bunch of special attackers. But who do I want out of these two? We got a fast electric Pokemon. But we also get a very strong hitting Dark and Steel type. I'm going with the Dark and Steel type. I like it. Again, Sucker Punch is just so massive. It, it can definitely come in clutch if we need it. But... We already went 2-0 two, two for today's video, so we guaranteed ourselves a winning record. I'd we'll love to win this one and go for another 3-0 perfect record on the channel. We've been actually killing it on the channel as of recently. Getting a bunch of 3-0 perfect records, but it'll be nice to do it again. We're gonna go Grimstone on me right on. Um, I might just have to change up terrain control, or I can fake out here and attack me right on if I want to. If I want to. Um... We'll give it a try. Again, I could go for Dragon Cheer. I could fake out Pop Trick Room. That could be a good idea. Fake out Trick Room Pop. I kind of like it. Mirai's fast. There's no way he's Cobra Cloak, though. We're going to go fake out Trick Room. You might set up a Light Room. Let's see what you do here. Let's see what you do. There's no way you're Ghost Terra. There's just no way. Grimstone is going to slice and Grimstone is going with the Ground Terror. What's up with the Ground Terror? What, what's, what's that for? Discharge? Is, is that your play? Is that for Discharge? Gotta be for Discharge. You're going to Thunder Wave my Slazzle. That's no biggie. I'm swapping Slazzle next turn anyway. Actually, you're slowing it down. We're in Trick Room. We are in Trick Room. And honestly, I might stay on the field. I might stay on the field. We're slower than you, me, right on. I might stay on the field. I might just go for Dragon Cheer. And I might just go for Spatial Rend. Let's do it. You know what? I made that trick and play. I'm just going to stay on the field here. You can Spirit Break me all day. That's fine. That's fine by me. You can drop my special attack. Slash is going to be able to Dragon Cheer. 
And should be able just to crit this thing and take it out, right? We're slower. It's a fine play. Beautiful play. Get this thing on out of my face. Get it on out of here. We don't need it. We don't need it here. Get it on out of here. All right. So now we're sitting here with Grimstraw slower. I mean, I could just protect this turn with Palkia. But I think that's a great turn because they wasted Terra and we got rid of the restricted Pokemon. And honestly, they wasted Terra on like a... And get like no value out of it, right? It was just there for discharge purposes. Like in all honesty. This thing's gonna course drive boost. It's just gonna boost its speed. We are in Trick Room, which is really beneficial to us. Um, from here, I'm just gonna throw a Sludge Wave and honestly just protect Palkia. Let's just protect it because we know Spirit Break's fine in this slot. Um, I could save the Palkia if I wanted to. Robum's gonna be nice because I can now just grassy glide this Grimstarl. He's gonna actually read a protect, which is good plays on their end. Low key. Low key, good plays on their end. Maybe we get some poisons out here. I couldn't move because I'm paralyzed anyway. That happens. What are you going for? Hydro Pump here? You're going for Freeze Shrine to Balkia. Honestly, you're slow. Do I just attack here? Yeah, I love Grass God here, though. So I'm just going to attack here. I'm going to go for a special run into this Iron Bundle slot. And I wonder if you're just KO and Palkia with, uh... You're most likely KO and Palkia with Spirit Break and then just attacking the, uh... This will last with, like, Hydro Pump or something, if you have it. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind having these Pokemon die out. I just let, I like the position we're sitting, especially with Rollaboom. So I can bring out Rollaboom. I can do some big time damage. I can get terrain control. Surprised he hasn't set up anything. And we actually outspeed, which is great because I take off Focus Ash on Iron Bundle. You decide to go for an Icy Wind, which I don't mind. I do not mind the Icy Wind play. Now I can bring out Rollaboom. So I can Grass Guy finish off Bundle. I can do some big time damage on the Grimstone. He hasn't set up a screen yet, which is kind of weird. Might just be a non screen using Grimstone. Might just be that. I'm gonna say bye bye to your cork drive. But I could honestly just start dragon cheering this thing if I wanted to. That might be the most beneficial for us. Would we'll just be a dragon cheer our. our rule of Let's be honest. It definitely is. It's gonna Thunder Wave me, which helps me out. It slows me down in Trick Room, but there is a chance of me being paralyzed, which. You know, obviously can be very annoying, but we're still picking up this KO all day. And I'm just Dragon Cheering here. I mean, Salazzle isn't really doing much on the field, so I might as well Dragon Cheer, right? I might hard swap for like a fake out chance. Of course, I'm paralyzed again. I keep losing turns. I keep losing turns. Keep on losing turns. The Trick Room's now gone. Grimstarl's on the field. And who's their final Pokemon? Chiyu? Oh, Chiyu would be scary. I still have Terror, though. Gene still's got the Terror type. I still got it. I am mean, really curious to see who he goes into. I think it's gonna be Chiyu, right? You can pair that up next to, like, Miraidon with a Ground Terror. I used a team like that before. I think it might have been. No, there's no way it was this team. I used a team with Mirai on it, it was just like a bunch of ground terrors on it. It was like Chiyu was ground terror, Grip Snarl was ground terror, everything was ground terror, just so you could freely just discharge with like choice specs Mirai on. But he's gonna have Frigraph in his final slot, which I, I don't mind. I mean, I got U turn to kind of do work onto that, and honestly, I think just going into like a flamethrower is in our best interest. And do I go into like a grass terror, just a wood hammer look to KO? Yeah. I like it. Cause I don't really need to change typings on my on my uh King Gambit. So I'm gonna go into Grass Terror. I'm gonna Woodhammer. Look to just KO this Grim Snarl. Instead of Grassy Glide. Because chances are we should be able to just soak up these shots. And we're gonna throw a flamethrower in for grab, hoping to get a burn. I mean burn will help us out a little bit, just slowly chipping up damage. Let's see what you got cooking here. She's gonna set up the reflect. Woodhammer, you got the damage, man. Just don't be paralyzed. Second noise flying through here. And it's gonna KO you. No big deal. I don't mind that. As long as this Woodhammer lands, right? Paralyzed can do me dirty. Not a fan of RNG. The Woodhammer's landing. Now, I think this still KOs through, through Reflect. You got the Grass Terrain, you got Stab, you got Terra, you got Super Effective, yeah. And Woodhammer, what is it, base 120? Hits like an absolute truck. So the KO Grimstarl, I can now bring out King Gambit and just finish off this match. I got Kaltau Cleave to just annihilate this Pokemon. It might soak a Kaltau Cleave, especially because it reflects up, but still, two Kaltau Cleaves, not happening. Not happening. 
get the single one out of here. King Gambo, late game for the win. So Kata Cleave, uh, I'm actually gonna switch to U-turn right here. Actually, Woodhammer would have done more damage, or even Grass Guy, just because we're Terra Boosted. But, you know, it's super effective. He goes for a foul play, doing about negative five damage to us. Kata Cleave gonna fly here, and does this one shot? Does not. Like I said, this thing, pretty bulky Pokemon. And again, flex out, and U-turn's not gonna finish it off either. But now we can finish off the match with a 3-0 perfect record. This match is in the bag. It's in the bag within the bag. It's double bag. It's double bag. We'll go for a grassy guide. We'll go for a cow attack leave. They probably just canceled the match, correct? Correct? Nah, they're, they're definitely thinking of some like crazy way to win this match. If I protect this turn and do nine backflips and the sun falls on Gino's house. That's my name, by the way. If you guys don't know, Gino. <laughs> but it falls on Gene's house, then I can win the game. But um, yeah, they just cancel match. 3-0 perfect record. Recently, I feel like we have been killing it in the rank ladder. Or I should say on the rank ladder. But this time we use a nice little off-meta squad. Palkia and Slazzle and still grab themselves a 3-0 perfect record. You guys gotta love it. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.